Today we're going to be load testing the AI Power 8000 watt generator. This generator still has the 459 cc engine. Okay, it's AI Power 8000 watt. This is a dual fuel generator, so you can run it on propane and pump gas. You see right here, so you get an 8000 watt starting, 7000 watt running on pump gas, and 7000 watt starting and 6300 on propane. Since we're doing the test with the other ones on pump gas, we're going to do this one on pump gas also because we need the maximum power. You get your maximum power from pump gas. Okay, let's see if this thing will run the oven by itself. Then we're going to do the washer and dryer together and a five ton AC. Let's see if it can run. Let's see if it can keep up with its other ones. 8,000 watt. We do lose 600 watts compared to the uh, Predator. Duramax, they all run about 7,600. This one runs right at 7,000. Okay, so we're losing that extra 600 watts on the running side. All right, guys, let's get the test started. Let me hook up the uh, let me hook up the inlet box. We are going to have to use an adapter to go from the 30 amp to the 50 amp. Because as you guys know, I have a 50 amp inlet box. So the adapter's coming in play again. It goes right here in the four pin twist lock. All right, we got our adapter in and we're gonna plug our inlet box right here. Inlet box connected. Once you got that, make sure your circuit breaker is off. Come over here. It's already plugged into my inlet box. You can see the green light is off, meaning that the generator is not putting power in. You come over here. You turn your main off. The main is off. Pull this up. That way you can get power to your main breakers. So since this generator, just like the Predator, only have the hour meter, I'm going to have to hook my monitor up so we can see what we're pulling. So first thing I'm going to do is hook up my monitor right here. Got my monitor hooked up. Then I come down to the other side and I'll hook in the uh, adapter. Okay, so I got my monitor. Let's go ahead and fire up the generator so we can get some power to this house. And choke and start. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the main circuit breaker so we can get some power. Right there. As you can see, we're pulling right about 401 leg and 315. Like I always say, that's my refrigerator and some ceiling fans. Okay, guys, first thing we always do, let's get that oven on. Let's see if 8,000 watts can turn on the oven. I know the washer and dryer is the one that cools more. So that's where it gets tricky. Is 8,000 watt enough to run what we've been testing with the 9,500 and the 9,000? It's getting smaller. The next one we're going to be doing is 7,000. That's your um, Honda and the Power Horse 7,500. That's the next one we're going to be doing. Can they keep up? Let's get the test started. Okay, guys, we got the oven right here. Go to bake and start. Okay, let's see what we're pulling. Okay, guys, 2014 and one, 1,900 and one. That's the oven. See, the oven cycles. I showed that to someone in the last video. I just didn't show the cycling. That's what it does. So right about 4,000 watts. Okay guys, let's shut off the oven and turn on the washer and dryer. Okay guys, we just shut the oven off. You see we're back down to our regular load. Right about 700 watts. Let's go ahead and do the washer and dryer. I'm gonna turn on the washer. You come over here to the dryer. This is a 240 volt dryer, electric dryer. Okay, 
All right, let's see what we're pouring. Hopefully, we can handle this one together. All right. Voltage good, 119. So we're pulling right about 6,000 watts. 3,000 on one and 2,075 on the other one. Generator sounds good. Handles the load real good. Okay guys, let's shut this off and turn on the five ton AC. Okay, we just shut off the washer and dryer. I think it handled it real good. That's the heaviest load. It goes right at 6,000 watts. So the 8,000 watts is handling it real good. Let's go ahead and try it with the five ton AC. I do have the soft start on my AC, so that should help it out. Let's get the AC going. Okay guys, we just turned on the AC. Let's see if it can get that AC started. AC should be coming on shortly. Let's see if it handles it as good. Okay guys, you see we're pulling right about 4,000, almost 5,000 watts. Voltage is real good. Over 119, 120. Okay, so that means the 8,000 watt has absolutely no problem running the AC. Five ton AC. Absolutely no problem. Started off, never voltage, never drops. Under 119. Once we get down to the 6,000 watts, you have the Gen Max 6,000, the Ames 6,000, and the Yamaha 6,000. That's where I think that 5 ton AC will start struggling a little bit. You might have to move to like window units. We'll see. And that's what we're doing this test. And I'm going in order of uh, uh, generator size going down. So the next one is the Power Horse 7500. And then the Honda 7000. The Yamaha 6600. The Ames Power 6300. And we're gonna go to the Gen Max 6000 after that. Let's see how far we, they can power the uh, five ton AC. So you guys know exactly what you need when it comes to powering your house. If it will power the five ton AC, it should power everything under a five ton AC. Let's go ahead and turn the power off. Turn the generator off. Okay guys, we just finished testing the AI Power 8000. Absolutely perfect. No glitch in that thing. It is performed perfectly. Okay, I really thought it wasn't going to be able to uh, power the 5 ton AC. It did it. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget, give me that thumbs up. Push that subscribe button. And guys, as usual, thanks for watching my channel. I really appreciate you guys watching the channel. Have a nice day. Bye.